We are here for the intermediate um, wood relief sculpture in the style of Louise Nevelson, an American artist. And um, when we looked at her examples uh, the other day, we noticed that she works with, she's monochromatic. So she uses one color on her piece and she does this to create, um, to play with shape, to play with the forms that she's using and to play with shadows and light. So we are getting ready for the painting part of this piece. I'm going to choose white. Um, most of her pieces that you'll see are white and black, white or black. Um, there are pieces where she's gone with gold. If you want to choose a color from the library like this bright magenta, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave some of those decisions up to you. I'm gonna choose the white because I really want to have the definition of um, the wood details pop out and I really want the shapes to play with the light and the shadows that I'm creating with my repetitive um, patterns, with my textures, and with my depth and complexity that I'm creating with this relief sculpture. So since I'm choosing white, I'm just going to go all in with white. Once again, we have not glued anything down so far. So far we've explored with our forms, our repetition of patterns, our texture, and now we're gonna move to the part where we are adding um, the color, and my color is going to be a neutral color. So the first thing that we're going to start with I'm deconstructing, I'm taking my piece apart. Um, if you're concerned you're not gonna remember where to put all your pieces, then um, I would either take a quick picture of it with a digital um, camera or phone, or I would sketch it quickly so that you can remember where you're placing all your pieces when you're finished. This is balsa wood. The majority of my piece is made up of balsa wood. It is very light, it's not very dense, but it is going to act as a sponge to your color. And so um, be careful as you are painting, it is gonna soak up your color and you might need to do more than one coat. So I am just going to take um, some time using my white to paint over. If this is not as striking for you, if this is not, if white is not going to do anything for you, then choose another color that you would enjoy. Monochromatic means that you're using one. It's one color scheme. So if you want to use maybe a blue, then do your piece all blue. You're still going to get the same idea as Louise Nevelson did with her play on light and shadow. So we're just gonna quickly paint. Now, I'm not concerned about the back of my piece because it's going to be glued down to a base. I'm not concerned about the sides, two sides of my piece because it's going to be up against other objects. I am concerned about the top and the side that will be um, visible. So I'm going to make sure I get those areas painted. This might be um, something you do all in one sitting. 
it might be something that you do in part and then you come back to it is completely up to you and how this works for your schedule maybe um, you want to do more than one coat um, I'm using I have the colorations that's the tempera I picked up from the library you can see I've already painted this and so it is not done much to the wood you can still see the wood uh, grain through this transparent paint so I am not going to spend a lot of time painting this with this transparent paint because it's really not doing much for me um, I think I'm going to just give um, a basic coat almost like a base coat and then I'm going to go back over with my opaque white and really get a good covering for this piece so if you're like me and you picked up the coloration and you're having transparent color problems with your painting this piece, then go back to the library and ask for the opaque tempera. And because of this being a relief sculpture and it's being monochromatic you're just going to paint all your pieces with your one color and set them aside to dry let's do that let's continue to paint our pieces with your chosen color, once again, she is known for painting um, her sculptures in white or black, sometimes with a metallic like a gold. Um, you make your decision on your paint color, and let's paint all of our pieces, set them aside to dry, and then let's come back another day once they're dry, and we'll start assembling our piece.